welcome to this week's Bible quiz. Welcome to this week's Bible quiz. Today's contestants, John from Philadelphia is our new contestant as he enters into the new tournament. Our champion, Doc, is on his third consecutive win. And our runner-up loser is Lester, who will be assisting me today, a.k.a. Chi-Chi. Get that big L for loser on your forehead. Will be, will be assisting me with questioning any uh, problems with our new buzzer facility here. And we want to thank NCTV45 for our new studio and our new buzzers. Thank you, NCTV45. So, contestants, John, Doc, little new rule, rule change with our buzzers. The first one to hit the buzzer must answer the question. Once you once you answer the question, if it's incorrect, then the other contestant will have the opportunity to answer the question and he can wait for the entire question to be read if the, if the buzzer has already been hit. Everyone agree? Okay. Question number one on this week's Bible quiz. In, in the book of Deuteronomy, Doc. Oh, that's a legitimate book. And guess what? It is the old question. Oh. That will be the fastest buzzer answer in the history of Bible quiz. Doc, it was old. Let me finish the question. In the book of Deuteronomy, Doc, is the book of Deuteronomy in the Old or New Testament? Or neither? And the answer was, Lester, oh. old. John, one of our great contestants from Philadelphia, we're hoping that he will give Doc some competition here. So, Continue. Question number two, contestants. What city mentioned in Reve Revelation is also the name of a city in Pennsylvania? Doc. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia is the I answer. I didn't get that one. Yeah, that's question number two. And let me finish the question. Yeah, what city mentioned in Re Revelation is also the name of a city in Pennsylvania? Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Erie, and Bethlehem. When we went over these questions with our executive producer, John, Angelo thought it was Bethlehem, but I told him, I said, the key to the question... Fill it up, yeah, I didn't, but it was I Re hadn't seen the questions in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, did. Right, Re I Revelation. Mean, he cheated Chi -Chi, all the questions. Chi -Chi, I think they were scandal. Chi -Chi. Look at the questions already. <laughs> <laughs> what does qualify you? <laughs> How many times? Back to Bible quiz. Little, uh... uh ribbing from the crowd there. Question number three. Right now, it's 2-0, Doc over John. Lester's getting a little bit animated because he thinks he's going to be back in the tournament. So, Lester, hang in there, buddy. Yeah. If I don't answer any of them, you're going to be back. Yeah. Does the word eternity occur in the Bible? Zero. The word? Eternity. Zero. One. Seventy-four. Or two. Twelve. How many times does the word eternity occur in the Bible? No. Zero, one, seventy-four, or two, twelve? Take a guess, gentlemen. Doc. It's a guess. Yeah. I'm going to say one. Doc. Maybe zero. It is one. Okay. So, one of the toughest questions so far, the word eternity, right. Angelo, but only one guess. time. So one was correct. I was okay, yeah. three and zero oh. right. from numbers. Twelve three. Who was the most humble man on earth? Was it Jacob, Elijah, Noah, or Moses? Johnny. Moses. Moses indeed. John is on the board right now. The score is three to one, and John still has a great opportunity to tie here to keep him going <laughs> in this, this bracket. Lester. Right now you're on the Mendoza line. You're right on the loser's bracket, but we know you'll be back. How many questions are there? Six questions. So right now, Doc, it's three to one. Question number five. Here am I, send me, come from which book? Here am I, send me, comes from which book? Genesis, John. No, that was... The Doc, sorry. Isaiah. Isaiah, yes it is. Here I am, send me. Does come from the book of Isaiah. Right now the score is four to one. 
So, Doc, it looks like you're going to continue, but it's good for John to get points. Because if John has two points, that will tie him with Lester in the loser's bracket, so John will continue on this tournament. Last question, gentlemen. What is the longest book of the Old Testament? Esther, Job, Psalms. Psalms. And the answer is Psalms. So, great job, John. Four to two. Doc continues with his fourth win in a, in a row. But more importantly, John remains strong in the loser's bracket because Lester had two wins last week. So right now, Doc is 4-0, and Lester has three losses, and John is, has one loss. But more importantly, that loss comes with a tie because they have both had two wrong answers last week. We want to thank our, our current champion, Doc. We want to thank John. Lester, thank you for your commentary, NCTV45. We want to thank our sponsors for our new set and our new buzzers. We'll, we'll see you next week on this week's Bible Quiz. That, that's